Welcome to our tutorial on Pashimottanasana. I love that word, Pashimottanasana, it's such a beautiful word. And I love this posture, it's our seated forward fold. So how do we go there and what do we do? So first of all, we're going to start with the legs extending out the front of the body. So we want to ground the hips into the earth here. And just like we do set ourselves up in Dandasana, so finding that lovely seated space where we're lifting the heart space and finding length in the back body. So a couple of things that we're gonna do here. I like to actually move my butt cheeks out of the way. So you can do this by actually lifting the butt or you can take a few steps forward and leave your behind in the past. So this variation of Pachimottanasana is from our Ashtanga Vinyasa series. So I'm drawing up into the tummy and I want to find length in my back body. So from here, I'm going to lift the hands and I'm going to extend through the back body and eventually find my way down to my feet and draw my toes back towards my face, creating a sandwich-like effect. So I'm going to wrap my hands around my feet so that I can draw my body forward. And I really want to maintain that length and that opening in the back body. So if you don't reach the feet, and it's not unusual that you don't, uh, and it's certainly, uh, you know, a work in progress. And, you know, we don't come to yoga to be the most flexible person in the world. We don't say that, oh, I'm not flexible, so I can't do yoga. That's why we have props. I have a strap here and I haven't even, this, came with my yoga mat so you know then we have we have blocks if you you know you've gone beyond that length of flexibility so there are ways to get around this if you don't have a strap use a towel or a t-shirt so or your sarong if you're traveling so what I want you to do is place that strap around the instep of the foot so just underneath the pad of the feet so that way what we're getting is that rotation of the the pull of the toes back towards the face Take an inhale breath and really lift through the chest. Even for me, uh, even with flexibility, I still find I'm getting, getting things out of this posture. So pulling the toes back towards the face and I'm really feeling the length through my spine here, which I, I really enjoy. And then I can start to pull the body down. So I'm getting quite a bit of traction here from my uh, strap and I'm drawing forward. And eventually what I want to do is get my nose towards my toes and so this is a, a really lovely stretch so even though i've got my whole body i can get my whole body down on my legs i'm still getting a lot of a lot out of this because i am lifting through the chest and lengthening the back body so regardless of where you are i mean you might be right back here you might actually be in struggle town and not be able to get the heels or the the backs of the legs down to the mat and that's perfectly okay this is why we are here to do the work and find out uh, how to open up the body and get into this space so if i let go of the strap if you're in a yin practice a really beautiful way to come into this posture and to feel a little bit of opening through the hamstrings. I'm just gonna separate my feet ever so slightly. And in our yin practice, this is actually called caterpillar. And so it's a slightly different approach to Pashimottanasana. I'm gonna place the block in between my legs here and I'm gonna relax my feet. I'm gonna sit back into the hips this time and I'm going to start to roll the body down and relax the forehead. To the block and that's still going to allow and you can take some really deep long lovely breaths here so there is nothing stopping you in a practice from utilizing this variation if you don't have that really that length in the hamstrings or even if you're starting to slow down your practice and perhaps you want to spend a little bit longer uh, you know working through the hamstrings in this asana and you can you know use this just to take the weight off you can create little building blocks here. You know, if you've got a couple of a couple of blocks, or you can even use a bolster or a pillow uh, in this pose. So there are a couple of variations here. I'm just going to turn a little bit more side on for you. Uh, lifting up again. I'm going to find that hinging forward from the hips. I'm going to take an inhale breath. And instead of reaching the hands up and over the head this time, I'm just going to use the hands to draw my body down towards my legs. 
So I'm coming down onto the elbows, I've still got my feet flexed and I'm gently walking down, so wherever this might be for you. So that connection of the belly to the thigh and the extension and length through the back body is what we are after in this posture. If you can keep creeping the hands past the toes, you can even take a variation just like in our standing uh, hand to big toe pose. You can put those peace fingers in between the toes, pull back and use that as a little bit of leverage to pull the body forward. Inhale, lifting the body all the way up and coming back to Dandasana. So there is a counter pose for this posture because we have just done a really deep forward fold from the hips. We want to reverse that or go in the other direction. So we take the hands, palms to the back of our butt cheeks and the fingertips are pointing towards our butt cheeks. We're going to press the hands into the mat. We're going to point the toes, take an inhale breath and lift the hips. Drop the head back and take a breath. For five, four, keep pointing the toes, lifting the hips. Three, two, and one. Exhale and release down, release the feet. Give the legs a little bit of a shake. And that is our Hashimoto a couple of variations there for you. Use of the strap, use of the block. It's a really beautiful forward fold. Remember to hinge forward from the hips. Take that inhale breath and explore the length through the spine. Because uh, ultimately that's what we're doing is, is giving a little bit of a reprieve to the back body and, and trying to create a little bit of distance uh, between all our vertebrae in the spine and, and gift it back some space after all of the, the grounding work that we do when we're walking and going through our daily lives. This is how we regenerate or re-gift re some of that space back to our spine is in postures like this. So I genuinely hope that you enjoy going on this Pashamotanasana journey.